Hello everyone, welcome today. My name is Berkasim Al Jafri. I'm a graduate student. Uh, currently, I do master degree in the electrical engineering department at Northern Illinois University in the United States. I am very glad to talk to you today and share with you my presentation entitled Improving the Efficiency of Solar Photovoltaic Array. So let me start with you with the contents of my presentation, which are the objective, brief introduction, why solar photovoltaic power system, factors that affect photovoltaic array, relationship among photovoltaic cell, module and array, solar cell equivalent circuit, solar photovoltaic array under partial shading condition, the effects of partial shading condition on, on photovoltaic array, the IV and BV characteristics of photovoltaic array under partial shading condition, the maximum power point tracking, and the different schemes of maximum power point tracking algorithms, conclusion, and the reference. So the objective is to improve the efficiency of solar photovoltaic array by match the DC input power with the DC output power. Introduction. The necessity for renewable energy sources is growing up day by day because of the severe energy crisis in the world today. Renewable energy sources play a significant role in electricity generation, and several renewable energy sources like solar, wind, geothermal, and biomass can be used for generation of electricity and for achieving our daily energy demand. In fact, solar energy from the sun is the most available option for, for electricity generation that is available everywhere and is free to utilize. Solar photovoltaic array converts the solar energy into electrical energy. And nowadays, with the concentrate on greener and cleaner sources of power, photovoltaic has been used as an important source of power in many applications. And as we all know that many factors reduce the energy yield. However, one of the main causes for reduces the energy yield of many photovoltaic system is partial shading of photovoltaic array. So the question that comes in our mind, why solar, solar photovoltaic power system? And the answer is because it is a plentiful renewable energy and it is an unpolluting technology and environmentally friendly, friendly, which means it doesn't release greenhouse gases. And it is a noiseless technology because there are no moving parts involved in involved energy generation. It doesn't require virtually high maintenance because of lack of moving parts, and it is safe and clean. The factors that affect photovoltaic array. There are many factors that affect the photovoltaic array, such as temperature, radiance, shading, and the photovoltaic material itself. And in the pictures below, there are three pictures. Uh, in the first one, there are no shade on the cell, and we can see the IV curve. There is no effect on the IV curve. And in the, in the second picture, the whole shade on the cell, and we can see the impact on the IV curve. In the third picture, the partial shading condition affect the, the, the cell and the impact on the IV curve. The relationship among photovoltaic cell, module, and array. Basically, photovoltaic cell are the basic building blocks on a construction of photovoltaic power system. Typically, the amount of power delivered by a photovoltaic cell is limited in extent to few watts because of the surface area limitation. And this few, these few powers are not enough to reach hundreds of watts. Therefore, photovoltaic cell connected in series or parallel to form a photovoltaic module. In a similar way, it is possible to link a group of photovoltaic modules in series or parallel or both to produce desired current and voltage, which is called a photovoltaic array whose power range is established from kilowatt to megawatts. Solar cell equivalent circuit. 
there are many parameters in this circuit such as the I photon current and the initial current IS and their series resistance, shunt resistance, the Q which is the electrical charge, the N which is the, the dyne ideality factor, K, K, Boltzmann constant and the last parameter which is the temperature. Solar photovoltaic array under partial shading condition. The performance of photovoltaic system can be influenced by numerous factors. One of the most significant factors is shading. Generally, shading indicates to a shadow on the photovoltaic modules on the outer surface that will decrease the system energy yield. As a consequence, the three fundamental photovoltaic module characteristics of power, voltage, and current will be affected. With the changing of irradiation during the day, the array output varies in a wide range. This variation of array output is expected. However, unexpected shading effects caused by dust, clouds, leaves, trees, and buildings causing shading on cells or side modules. The IV and BV characteristic of the solar cell under partial shading condition. In a photovoltaic system, it is virtually impossible to utterly avoid shading. The IV and BV characteristics of the solar array becomes more complex with multiple maximum power points under the non-uniform irradiance condition as shown in the figures below. In the first figure, in the left, show the steady irradiation and temperature, and there is just one maximum power point. However, the other two pictures, which is in the right bottom, there are many maximum power point, and that is because of the shading. The effects of, of partial shading condition on photovoltaic array. In case of non-uniform irradiance of solar photovoltaic array, the power loss will increase proportionally to the number of shaded cells. As a consequence of non-uniform irradiance, overheating of shaded cells problem will appear. In addition, the overall photovoltaic system efficiency gets degraded due to the power loss that leads to reduce the energy as well. If the system is not suitably protected, hot spot problem can emerge and in several cases, the system can be irreversibly destroyed. So, in order to overcome those problems, a DC to DC connected at a photovoltaic uh, array output to be, have, to be have as a constant input power load. And there are several techniques of connecting a DC to DC converter will be applied as shown in these figures. What is the maximum power point tracking? Maximum power point tracking is a DC to DC converter that optimizes the match between the solar array and the battery bank or utility grid. It converts higher voltage DC output from solar photovoltaic arrays or module down to the lower voltage that needed to charge a batteries. Maximum power point tracking finds the maximum power of a photovoltaic array and maintains that power output for optimal performance. There are different schemes of maximum power point tracking algorithms, such as perturb and observe, incremental conductance, fractional open circuit voltage, and fractional short circuit current, fuzzy logic control, and the neural network. The algorithm takes the value of current and voltage from the solar photovoltaic module and the maximum power point tracking algorithms thus proposed will identify the suitable duty ratio in which the DC to DC converter should be operated to obtain maximum power output. Here is the some examples of a DC to DC converter such as the book converter, boost converter and book post converter. In conclusion, conventional popular maximum power point tracking methods 
cannot track the real maximum power point under shadow condition because of the multiple local maxima, which can be existed on PV characteristics curve. So to overcome this tracking failure, a new maximum power point method for improving the efficiency in this presentation is proposed. Proposed method is based on, the, on connecting a DC to DC converter to array and eventually reducing the energy loss, loss and improving the efficiency of the output power of the photovoltaic array can be achieved by the proposed method. So guys, feel free to contact me if you have any question and comments or feedback at my email which is listed below. And by the end, thank you very much for your listening and attention and for your coming today. Have a good day, guys.